I am not uh, under anyone's thumb, unfortunately for Joe Rogan. So, okay, so I saw this today. It said, how did we go from this to a Muslim congresswoman calling our president a mother and it's 9-11 buildings exploding? Well, I'll tell you how. Because we destroy our kids' brains with propaganda so that they know nothing and they can't trust their instincts or make logical arguments. I'll stay completely away. By the way, there, there, there is a f-ing NASA thing on this thing. Let's just go through the obvious lies. Okay. 1,000 questions and answers by Discovery. Let's start with the solar system. So, okay, this is going to piss off all the flat earthers, but I can't prove that the earth is a sphere. This is my thing. I'm not proving the earth is flat because it very well might not be flat. I'm trying to prove that it's a sphere. That's my goal. Uh, I think it is a sphere. It's a spinning sphere. But I, uh, I'm having a hard time. I'm structuring... I'm structuring experiments because a lot of this has to do with the fact that I'm about to become a teacher uh, because I'm homeschooling my kids. So one reason why I'm getting down to fundamental principles is because when I'm reading this propaganda, I'm thinking like, how do I teach my sons how to come up with actual answers in life? You know, because they're not going to public school. They're not going to Jesuit school. They're not going to Jew school. Oh, and we can talk about Hitler in a little bit, too. I I learned some interesting things about that guy. All right. So we got Neil Armstrong, the first dog in space, the first person to walk on the moon. Well, we all know that's a lie. Forget about the planets. How come they never show the the weird shape on the the top of Jupiter or Saturn or whatever? We'll get into that. I'm just going to show you. I'm a history guy. Okay, the Big Bang. The Big Bang is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. If you believe in the Big Bang, by the way, robot guy, I am Stephen Hawking. That guy was a retard. I don't even think he was alive for the last 40 years. It was just somebody controlling his Let's get to the stuff that is very easy to... Which stars live the longest? How hot is a star? This is almost like intellectual pornography because it jacks up your your fantasies and your, um, you know, I was so into astronomy as a kid. You know, it's like, which stars live the longest? The biggest stars have lots of nuclear fuel, but live fast and die young. The smallest stars have little nuclear fuel, but live slow and long. I wonder who wrote that? A short guy? A short guy? What happens when stars die? How old are the stars? Stars, are, you know, you get into like big bright stars live for only 10 million years, medium-sized stars for like our sun for 10 billion years, and, and it like blows your mind. Very little of it is provable, but I'll show you exactly what is not at all real. Um, how do we talk through space? Satellites and machines sent into space to circle the Earth. They can pick up telephone, radio, okay. Are there more and more people? Every minute, about 260 babies are born around the world. Imagine how they would cry if they were all put together. By the year 2050, there will probably be 9.3 billion people in the world. And there's a screaming picture of a baby that sets the seeds for something called eugenics, little buddy. Is there enough room for everybody? Just about. But sometime in the future, people uh, may have to live in towns under the ocean or even other planets where they would need a special supply of air to stay Alive. Wow, that's pretty interesting. That's really interesting stuff. <clears throat> have humans changed our planet? Over the ages, humans have changed the face of the world we live in. They have changed, they have chopped down forests and dammed rivers. They have built big cities and roads. So it's bad that we build cities and roads? Why are some lands richer than others? Some lands have good soil where crops can grow. Some have oil, which is worth a lot of money. But other countries have poor soil, little rain, and no minerals. What problems do cities cause? Too much traffic in cities 
often blocks up the roads and fills the air with fumes. In sub cities, there isn't enough work for everyone and some people live in poor conditions. So is discovery.com in one of these cities? Yes, it is little buddy, because your dad dad Owen has had meetings at this very office in a city where they commute to the office. That's uh, some pretty valuable information. <clears throat> Are you guys having fun? You guys having a good time? Love the stream, love the stream. Burn it in the fire, plenty of fuel for the fire. Oh, every page is gonna be burned. Why do we build skyscrapers? In busy cities where land is scarce, people have to use the space above the ground building tall skyscrapers. So daddy, why do we live on like 10 acres? Like why don't more people just live in the country? Uh, uh, uh. Was, the, was the wheel invented? In Mesopotamia, present day Iraq, more than 6,000 years ago. So when the white people came to America, the Native Americans must have had a wheel, right? No, actually they didn't have wheels yet. True story. They didn't have wheels. Real underdogs. What's the world's main religion? This is when things get spicy. The world's main religions include Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Judaism. Period. The religion with the most believers, however, a third of the world's population is Christianity. All faiths have their own beliefs about the nature of the world and special ways of praying and worshiping. Hang on, someone said, wow, really, Owen? Oh, well, now you're banned. You're just taking advantage of me because I'm, I'm focused on something. Really, Owen? Yeah, this is, what I'm doing right now, by the way, is very educational and very profound. Open up your ears and learn something. What am I, anti-Semitic? Do you retards even know what Semitic means? A Semitic is a branch of language that includes Arabic. So if you make fun of Muslims, you're also being anti-Semitic, making it not a word that means anything. Good times, retards. Let's continue. Were banknotes invented? Paper money was first used in China a thousand years ago. No, look up a place called Sumeria. Oh, you don't want to bring up Babylon? Really? What, what are Parsis? The Parsis belong to a sect of the Zoroastrian religion, which began a long time ago in ancient Persia. Now Iran today, uh, Parsis live in India and Pakistan. How come you don't tell me more about the religion that I am? Because we're trying to get rid of that one, little buddy, because it empowers the individual and focuses on truth over power. Why do some ladies wear tall lace hats? Because they're dying of AIDS. <clears throat> Where do young boys become monks? Uh, most mansions in Hollywood. Where do pilgrims go? Pilgrims are religious people who travel to holy places around the world. Muslims, let's forget about the pilgrims who settled our nation. Muslims try to travel to the sacred city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia, the home of most of the hijackers who took out those, those towers that some of daddy's friend's parents worked in. Hindus may travel to the city of Varanasi in India to wash in the holy waters of the Ganges River, which is the quickest way to get hepatitis. Some Christians travel to Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus Christ. That's the last one. It's the last one. Which city is holy to three faiths? Jerusalem is a holy... All right, no one cares. <clears throat> By the way, this is my property. If I was the government book, uh, burning books, that's a different story. When are Muslims allowed sweets after they kill a Christian? Which country has the most Muslims? Indonesia is the largest Islamic country in the world, although some parts of it, such as the island of Bali, are mostly Hindu. One of mommy and daddy's gay friends was actually from that island and he had to leave because the Muslims were trying to cut off his head. All right, you guys get it. What book is this? This is a book that I was reading my son tonight because I was excited to do a thousand questions and answers because I'm, I'm getting him excited about things. 
and it's the biggest pile of bullshit I've ever seen. Oh, let's get to Egypt. Why was the Nile River so important? Because denial is what you'll live with the rest of your life if you believe anything in this book. The Sphinx is only 4,500 years old. I'm not going to ban you for that, but that's 100% wrong. Here we go. What is Islam? When did the Islamic world lead to the globe? Hang on. When did the Islamic world lead the globe? Industrial Revolution. What is an element? Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Nonsense, nonsense. Actually, this is fine. There are solids, liquids, gases. That's all right. First split atom, atomic bomb, compound metal ion pressure, nuclear power, what is radioactivity, why is water essential for life, water special, common. What is energy? And guess what they show? They show the thing that makes very little energy, but is a big thing when you're trying to create a culture that hates human beings. What is force? What is friction? What is power? Buddy, power is making people believe that those people went to the moon because of propaganda. That is power. Power is in the wizardry to, to use an image based on a group of people from NASA that were SS Nazi officers from Operation Paperclip that came to America and with the help of Walt Disney, faked the moon landing. Holy sh What is heat? What is temperature? What is light? What was Newton's breakthrough? Who was Einstein? Einstein was a fraud who abandoned his child. What is electricity? What is the largest land animal? Rosie O'Donnell. What is a mammal? A wombat? Who gives a f I'm done with this sh <clears throat> That, my friends, is... Full-blown garbage. All right.